Well, there we go. This is Porchester Castle. It's all its glory. So we're just going to go walk down in through the, the village. There's nothing here anymore, no shops or anything. But there used to be, down here, right where the Lady Sarah is, there used to be a downstairs cafe. Now, as a kid, I went in there and had a cup of tea or something with um, grandparents. I think it was there. Yes, it was down there. That's where we used to go. And it's closed. So there used to be a nice little tea room. I don't know whether it's open anymore. But the only uh, business that's running here now is the Cormorant Pub, which is directly ahead of us. Now this corner house here, called the Crown House, I do believe that this was in fact a house owned by a Russian princess. Or was it? I mean, this is, this is going back to memories as a kid, because I know one of my friends used to live here. I think, I think it was a pink house. I think he lived in that house there, the crown house. Because he was, uh, his dad was a TV presenter, and uh, I think he was saying that the house behind him was owned by a Russian princess, but that was at least 45 years ago. So you can forgive me if my memory doesn't hold up so much. But yeah, they um, they did um, a TV series from here as well. What was that? A TV detective. <clears throat> Anyway, one of the houses along here was featured. I think I'm about to get run over. Oh no, he turned that way. So, here we are. Heading through the little back alleyway towards the graveyard. So, I'll probably cut it short here until we get a bit closer. Here we are at my dad's grave, graveyard and uh, the Lady Sarah's just waved, wondering what I'm doing. A little secret with my family. But the chap who was in there is called Jack Page, which is my maiden name, Page. Right? Yes. His wife is called Violet Annie. Now, Violet Annie was my dad's mum's name, who I'm named after, Sarah Ann. And I was mum knocked the eye off Ann, just to Annie to make it Ann. But it's the fact that he's called, obviously she was called Violet Annie Page. His name is Jack Page. Yeah, small world, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not my grandma, but... Yeah. There we go, that's us visited the grey site and there's Porchester Castle in the background. So this is resting somewhere nice. Yeah, it's quiet, isn't it? Yeah. And when the birds sing. Yes, I do, re do remember having a, 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 some kind of parade with floats and stuff coming out coming around Porchester. Um, this was a meeting point.
So here we are, sun setting in the afternoon. In Porchester Castle. Yep. We're going to go in and buy a souvenir bottle of wine. Uh, we're going to have a chili con carne for tea. So we're going to go and get the wine first and then we're going to get the, the stuff from Tisco's. So you've paid your £1.10 pence to come to the, see the castle and you can't get in because they're shut. How disappointing is that? Such a shame. Such a shame. We've driven all this way for nothing. 275 miles and we can't even get in. Well, I'm glad we didn't just pay our one pound ten pence to come here. And I'm glad we went to see my father's grave first. How long has she got to read these poems? 